All right, guys, we're back. I got the heads on the motor, valve trains all done. Um, we got the uh, serpentine system from Holly all set out here on the bench. I'll give you guys a quick zoom in on that, and then uh, we'll get to putting this system on. All right, guys, here's the componentry of the uh, the serpentine system, the mid mount. Pretty nice quality stuff. I like what they did with the water pump scenario. Uh, makes it easy, quick changeover if you ever had one go bad. Um, did one of these kits about a month ago on another guy's. This is the first time we're using this kit, but with the uh, oiling system. And like I said, it is fabulous. Can't wait to see how it reacts on the dyno. And then uh, we're also gonna go with the Edelbrock uh, sheet metal intake on this build and um, see how that turns out as well. Let's get into assembling the front end. All right, guys, we're back here. Uh, it's the next day. We're getting ready to put the uh, Holly uh, mid-mount system on here. Uh, let's get on here, and we'll show you how it's going. Hey, I'm Brad, Proformance at Proformance Unlimited, the dyno tuner and do heads and all that stuff. Um, and today we're going to be uh, putting this mid-mount kit on here and showing you all a little bit about uh, what's going on with these new Godzillas. All right, let's get to putting this kit on, Brad. It doesn't seem to be too complicated at all. It looks very, rather simple, actually. That looks like a little fun. Good thing the intake off. We suggest doing this without the valve covers on and the intake. Any intake makes it a lot um, easier. We did the second kit we've done in the front with the front drive. Learned a little trick the first time. Same thing. We put the uh, uh, well, power steering pump pressure line on first before you go ahead and try to install that pump. <laughs> uh, we learned it the first time on and off three times. You know, a little little t t tricks to the trade here. Um, why, why Brad's finishing up the pulley kit here. I uh, just want to go over a few things. Uh, there's a bunch of us out here developing these Godzillas and they're a really good motor. Uh, one guy in particular I want to mention that uh, has been helping us out with uh, developing parts, finding parts. Uh, if you need things uh, for the Godzilla build, if you're choosing to build one on your own, uh, give Willis Racing a call. Uh, real, real nice guy, Brian. Uh, he's been helping us get along uh, throughout the uh, time that we've been building these for the last year and a half different combinations going back and forth. He's doing a lot of testing with camshafts and intake designs. Actually, he asked me on this project when I talked to him about it yesterday uh, that we're trying the new uh, Edelbrock uh, intake. He asked me to try the new 23 uh, model year plastic intake. Nerves, and I think we're gonna give that a shot. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. Let me uh, grab the alternator and get that up and finish this up. That didn't come out really nice. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. The uh, Holly mid mount system's installed with the with the beautiful uh, rear sump oil pan. Um, I think this is this is going to be a seller for Holly Point. Uh, we'll bring the guys back here in a little bit once we uh, get ready to mount the intake. Hey everybody, we're back. Um, it's Edelbrock intake, the XTS intake uh, happens to be shorter runners for higher RPM and. Uh, First looks at it, looks pretty good. Looks a little different than most intakes that are starting to be developed out there. And um, has a good finish to it and everything. And uh, we're gonna get this all bolted up and uh, show you all a little bit more about it. Cool. Only one thing I have to say about the intake so far, uh, just working with it so far, just playing around with it on the bench. Um, we chose to do a different O-ring style uh, intake gasket on them. Uh, Edelbrock requests you to use the OEM, OEM uh, style intake gaskets. To me, the notches are not deep enough to receive that groove. Uh, so we found some nice O-ring fittings that, uh, that protruded just enough for your intake seal. Uh, other than that, so far the intake looks good. Uh, obviously the dyno will tell the, tr the true story here uh, in the next few days. Um, well, I'm gonna step away and let Bradley uh, put the intake on for you. Hey everybody, Brad at Proformance Unlimited back here with this uh, Edelbrock XTS uh, manifold here, intake manifold. Um, it's all great and everything, love it. Love the looks of it and everything. Um, one thing that we'd like to be able to run is a cable driven throttle body. Um, that doesn't seem to be very possible right now. We did, they did provide us with this uh, spacer plate here. It does not work with the uh, the 102 does 
go on if you weren't supposed if you weren't uh, going for this throttle bracket here. Um, this will bolt up and everything, and it won't you know have any issues. You know, you go to do this, it doesn't hit the intake or anything, which is nice. Um, the only thing that I've noticed, if you really want to use it, it's not impossible. It's not very uh, convenient, but uh, you can flip it upside down. You throw the bracket on here, um, but it kind of makes it hard to get a hose on here. It's not very convenient. Other than that, looking for somebody in the aftermarket world to hopefully create this here, uh, working with a throttle bar, uh, cable driven throttle body here pretty soon. Hopefully somebody view, some of you viewers out there can come up with something for that. Um, other than that, and whoever's watching that Brock, Holly, whoever, uh, other than that, looks great so far. Stay tuned. There we have it, folks. Put the uh, 90 millimeter GM throttle body on here on the other Brock intake, XTS intake. Um, with the Holly front runner system on here, looks great. Um, we'll see how it performs momentarily in the next few days or so. And uh, we'll see how it works, see how it runs. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.